up in you had uh, Glamorgan on the ropes this afternoon fought the overs in seven down looked like you were gonna have a, a sizable lead and then uh, the pressure just seemed to evaporate it's, it's a bit of a familiar story this season yeah well, I think you know we felt pretty confident going into that middle session thinking we were gonna have a bit of a lead but you know they batted quite well we didn't ball that well and you now the game kind of turned on us there so uh, disappointing but it's, it's get turned into a better pitch, it's a good pitch now and you know, we'll back ourselves to have a good batting day, day three, put ourselves ahead of the game. What, what's the situation with the bowling this year? Is the ball different? Is, are the pitches too dry? Why is taking wickets so hard, do you think? Um, we've played on some pretty flat pitches and the, the balls are definitely different. Um, you know, we haven't been told anything about it, but there's a noticeable difference on the same, you know, the amount of times you have to replace them and stuff. But, Quite, you know, they're not the best quality this year I've found but, but we're playing on some good pitches and against good batters um, so you know there's a bit of a, a change to that and as you see that with the runs up and down the country you know, it, is, it has been more batter friendly you know, I guess they won for test cricket which is good it's, you know, it's, it sees which bowlers are um, suitable for test cricket and that and you know, I think it makes for a better standard if I'm honest so you know, I'm a spot I'm not necessarily good for my wicket tally but I think it's good for the game of, you're talking of uh, Test cricket and um, oh, telly. we believe that Matthew Potts is on the England radar anyway. This afternoon the first reports have started to appear in national newspapers that he could be called up for a, a Test debut. He's taken 28 wickets this season, he's mm. the leading wicket taker in the country. Uh, crucially uh, getting the wicket of uh, Kieran Carlson, first ball after lunch, mm. but in a good position. Then Chris Cook, he's uh, having a blinder isn't he? Oh he is, I think. You know, he's, he's showed signs of being very good, um, but this year he's been unbelievable. And to be honest with you, I think for me the hat that it really stood out at Sussex on a, on a you know, really flat deck, the way he bowled it, Pajara there was it was Test cricket. You know, he, he ran down the hill there, he bowled quick, he bowled heavy, and he bowled he did it all day. You now for me that was he's been brilliant all year, but for me I was standing there thinking, yeah, I think this lad's ready for for Test cricket and. Uh, you know, not that I'm sure. I'm sure Stokes has been impressed with what he's seen. He's bowled brilliantly in the last two games, but he's just on fire. He's 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 bowled phenomenally. To be honest with you, he's just got to tip your hat when someone's bowling like that. It's quite exciting to see a young lad coming through like that. And I, I hope he does get picked. I, I honestly think he deserves it. To be honest, he's filled out a little bit this year, but he seems a, he seems a bit quicker as well, doesn't he? Oh, he's an athlete. He's a he's a phenomenal performer in the gym, and that you know he takes that all very serious. And uh, he's getting these rewards because you know not necessarily his, his strength and stuff like that, but. This is his sixth game on the bounce, six weeks. He's clocked a remarkable amount of, ro of overs. So, you know, he's shown he's got the game for Test cricket, but he's also got the the temperament. He's also got the you know, the physical qualities to last in Test cricket on good pitches. So, yeah, you know, if I was a selector, he's definitely on my radar, and I, I firmly think he deserves the selection. To be honest, it's Friday the thirteenth today. <laughs> Spooky things. You and Matty Potts, uh, twenty overs each, two maidens, four for sixty-one. I'll take that to be fair because he's been bowling mint so if I'm anywhere near him I'll take that but ahead. the exact same figures yeah. incredibly weird it's good hi. Yeah. <laughs> both had a nice day didn't we yeah mm. now the nature of the game's changed this afternoon I think Durham certainly had the better of day one I think Glamorgan will feel quite pleased with the position there and in day two mm -hmm. Durham two wickets down and still 15 behind absolutely it's, like I say, it's been two very different days but we're hoping to do that in the day three flip it back onto our side we have a good day with the back you know we set up a good chase and I think there is a bit of green in the pitch, but it is getting a bit better. But hopefully, you see a bit more of that you know, unusual bounce that's been. So we've had some roll on the ground, we've had some you know, high bounce. So if we can have a bit more into that into the fourth innings, if we can get a decent total on the board, it's going to be quite tough to chase. So you know, it's all on tomorrow. It's a big day tomorrow, moving day day three, and you know we're confident that we can get the runs we need. In order to get a, a lead in which you can defend, you're going to have to bat most of tomorrow, aren't you? Oh yeah, you'd think so. Um, but it's been quite a quick score and pitch. Um, it's quite, you know, it's not, it's a massive outfield, but it's not running that fast. But it's been quite a quick score on ground. So, you know, if you if you, if you bat a good couple of sessions on there, you get a good lead. So, that's what, you know, that's what we're hoping to do. And that's what we're planning to do.